I kind of always felt that since a little kid, um, that there is a disconnect between us and the planet, us and animals, um, us and ourselves, you know, because at the end of the day, we're all animals too. So, um, so every time I hear uh, a wolf out in the wild, I, I really do think that it, it's just like this primal sound that belongs on that landscape. And it really is neat to hear that, even though, you know, it means that there's a higher potential for conflict in maybe that area that I'm in right there. It, I mean, I, I do personally believe that we can coexist with them. And I've been able to produce results enough to know that that is possible. Um, the goal of it is to basically help help ranchers in an area where wolves are located to um, cope with having this predator back onto the landscape and try and keep nominal amounts of cattle being killed and nominal amounts of wolves being killed. Keep those numbers down to nothing if we can. I would like to see like a few more people like-minded that are willing to walk the line of balance around this campfire at night. Um, that would be great because when you're by yourself, it's it's a daunting task and it's just not the easiest. I usually just will stop everything I'm doing and it just I, I really enjoy listening to them. Um, just hearing that, it's like when they howl, it just slowly emanates, emanates from this origin, you know, out in the middle of the wild, you, you're thinking they're out in that hill somewhere. And it just slowly like caresses the landscape, it seems like. It just sounds so beautiful, I think. It makes you feel like you're in a wild place, like it's an actual ecosystem that's, that's whole, and it makes you feel like there's hope for other land, you know.